Reserve your 18.8 million home today by paying just 500,000 rupees. Mulberry Residence. Rajiv Yasudukuru Vitake, the chairman of the Information Technology Society of Sri Lanka, has said he has received death threats after making revelations on matters concerning cyber security. Five people clad in civil attire forcefully entered my house at around 10 this morning. They said they were from the SDF. One of them produced his identity card and slipped it back inside his pocket. I asked whether they have a court order. They said that they don't need a court order and that the Defence Ministry has informed them that narcotics are being sold at my place. They forcefully entered my room and started searching. I have a court case on the 16th. I have a suspicion whether they are trying to find something to produce as evidence against me. A data scam had occurred in the NMRA database. Rajiv Yasiru's Information Technology Society had reiterated that data must be secured. They had said that the database should be updated to protect the data that is stored in them. They filed a case against a person who was asking for it to be done. That's what they did. I spoke to the officers about this. Doesn't this set a trend that would allow the underworld to adopt a similar method? The CID used to summon many people at once. We don't know whether the STF has begun doing something like that. We are calling for a transparent investigation into the injustice faced by Rajiv Yasiru. How can the people in this country survive if this continues? Have the rulers thought about that? If they have a backbone, they must tell us that they won't violate human rights. They must take action and provide redress for the rights that have been violated. Police spokesperson, SSP, attorney and law Nihal Thaldu told News First a team of special task force officers had searched the house in Udahamulla upon receiving information about a narcotic racket. He said the police do not require search warrant for narcotics related cases.